Hi guys! Today we're going to look at the differences between the start, awake and on enable methods in Unity. These methods can all be used for initialization of a script. As the differences are quite subtle, it can be confusing to know when to use each one. Before we look at some examples, let's go over the key features of each. Awake is called when the script is first loaded. It'll still be called even if the script component is disabled. It's only called once in the lifetime of the script. There's no guarantee which order the awake methods on different scripts will be called. It'll be called before the start method of all scripts in the scene. Start is called when the script is first enabled. If the script is already enabled when the game starts, it'll be called then. Like awake, it's only called once in the lifetime of the script. There's no guarantee which order the start methods on different scripts will be called. It'll be called before any of the update methods are called for the first time. On enable is called every time the script is enabled. Unlike awake and start, it can be called multiple times in the lifetime of the script. It's called after the awake method has been called on the script. However, it may be called before the awake method of other scripts. If the script is enabled when the game starts, it'll be called before the start method of all scripts in the scene. OK, let's look at some examples. We've got a cube with a script attached. The script is making use of the start method to get the renderer component. Then we have a public method that uses this renderer to change the colour. We've also got a colour setter object that has a script. This has a field for a colour change object that we just looked at. Then in the start method we call the change colour method. So when we press play this should run and change the colour of the cube to red. Let's press play to see what happens. Instead of the cube changing colour we get this error message saying object reference not set to an instance of an object. Let's go back to the scripts to understand why this happens. We're getting the renderer component in the start method of the change colour script. Because the start methods can be called in any order, the start method on the colour setter script is getting called first. This means that when the change colour method is called, the renderer field hasn't been initialised yet and we get the error. To fix this, we can use the awake method to initialise the renderer field instead. This is guaranteed to be called before the start method of any other script, so it'll be ready when we need it. Let's press play to try this out. Now the cube turns red as expected. So if you have public methods in your script, it's a good idea to use the awake method to initialize references to other components. Then use the start method if you need to call other scripts as part of the initialization. Finally, we'll add the on enable method to the color setter script. In here, we'll call the change color method passing in a random color. So in theory, this will change the colour every time the script is enabled. Let's try this out. You'll notice that we get the same error as before. This is because the onEnable method has been called before the awake method of the change colour script, so the renderer hasn't been initialised. For this reason, it's a good idea to try to avoid calls to other scripts in the onEnable method. If we disable and enable the script though, the cube does change colour. It's only the initial time that it fails, because the awake method has now been called to initialize the renderer. The most common use of on enable is when reusing objects. So for example, you may reuse enemy objects after they're destroyed, rather than creating new ones. In this case, you could use on enable to reset the health and position of the enemy. Let's go back to the scripts and move the on enable method over to the change color script. Now we aren't dependent on any other scripts, and the cube should change colour every time we re-enable the script. Let's try this out. Now the cube changes colour and we no longer get any errors. 
So to summarise, you should use awake to do most of your initialization, especially if your script contains public methods. Calls to other scripts should be avoided in the awake method. Use start if you need to make calls to other scripts. If your script is self-contained and doesn't have any public methods, then you can still safely put all your initialization in the start method if you want to. Use on enable to reset an object when it's re-enabled, avoiding calls to other scripts if possible. Okay, that covers everything for this video. A big thank you to all our patrons, we really appreciate you helping to support the channel. If you'd like to help and also get access to the source code, you can find details in the description. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments and subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Thanks guys!